Hello everyone. It has been observed that many students have doubts in events and event table. So this is an effort taken to clear your doubts through this video as college is going to reopen in the June. So there is still time and you can work on your projects at starting with the analysis phase. So uh, I found that many students face problems in deciding the events. What event should be considered in the system? What event should not be considered in the system? Differentiating between the events. So before we go to the events, we'll just have a glimpse on system. What is a system? So in general terms, what do we mean by a system? Now system is a set of components that function together to accomplish some task. So you take any system, the government system, so different departments, different ministries, they all work together to run the government. So we can see various systems uh, in our day to day life. So different systems that we come across and deal with those systems. So we see few examples here. So our body, our body is a system, the living system and it works <coughs> it works with the help of different components or different organs in our body that function together to run this body so what are the different components or the organs or these different uh, sections of our body or different systems of our body so we have respiratory system, digestive system, nervous system. So all these systems, they work together to help body to be alive. So this is one of the examples. <coughs> and in real world and uh, other terms, we have business. So business is a system wherein different departments, different sections, they work together, they interact together to run the business efficiently <coughs> so when we talk about system there are different users who deal with the system and different users who interact with the system they provide something to the system and in turn get something from the system so when we talk about system we consider system as a black box so black box wherein every user puts in something and gets from that something now, <coughs> with respect to software engineering, we are, we are going to deal with <coughs> we are going to deal with the information system. So, information system wherein different modules function together to run the system efficiently. So, when we talk about information module, there are different users who interact with the system provide inputs to the system and get outputs in turn from the system so whenever we are thinking about system we think the system as a globe or a black box black box and different users interacting with the system providing the inputs and getting the outputs so these black box gives an idea of interfaces through which the user interacts now interfaces uh, for user that is external uh, world interfaces within the system wherein different modules or different sections of the system interact with each other share the data share the information so this is what is a system now this system is affected by various events <coughs> that take place in the system so events now events are triggered by the users now what do we mean by an event so event is something that occurs at some specific time and place and these events need to be remembered by the system now what do we exactly mean by this now any event that is triggered by the user so there are different users or you can say the stakeholders who deal with the system and provide information to the system provide the inputs and get the outputs so there are different 
systems when we talk about the information system or the computerized system the railway reservation system airline reservation system banking system and many more systems that we come across where the user interacts with the system so any event that occurs at some specific time and place so event now what is the event now we take an example of student management system where the student comes for inquiry students fill the admission form student takes the admission students appear for exam so these are different events now we need to decide what will be the event that affects the system or that needs to be remembered by the system so <coughs> this is where we need to think so an event that directly affects the system and makes the system to drive or trigger some processing so so, so as an example student management system student inquires and student fills the form so now here these two things are the manual part A student comes and talks to some clerk over there in the office and gets the information about the courses the student fills the form so it may be the inquiry form so here <coughs> so these are the manual processes but when student comes for the admission the clerk over there accepts the admission form so here we need to here the student interacts directly with the system so here student takes an admission this becomes an event and it triggers the activity or the use case you can say so the activity that triggered is add new student because the student details are feeded into the information system that is the computer so <coughs> now these data needs storage now usually where do we store the data so we use databases for storing data so here database becomes our basic system where we are storing the events in the form of information so not necessary that all uh, events will trigger some processing to the database or some processing within the system so such events are not to be considered as events as if there is any event that doesn't create any processing or that doesn't do any processing in the system is not is not to be considered as an event any event that is doing some processing but it is not getting any output that is also an event for example student updates his personal details so now here student is simply updating his details he is changing his name address etc so this becomes uh, he is just updating so at the database level if you think the previous records are modified with the new records in turn student is not getting anything now here when we say this student is not getting anything we need not consider the messages that we see on the screen so the messages are not to be considered as the response response is something when we are giving in writing or some receipt or some bill is generated or some report is generated this is what we mean by response so not necessary that all the events will have response it may happen that many events will not have any response and hence no no destination so such events are likely to be there in the system so events any event that triggers some kind of processing in the system some kind of modification in the system is considered to be an event so what the system does to the such events so system responds to such events so whatever events are occurring system responds to that event so student is taking an admission so in turn student will get the roll number student will get the fee receipt and student will get the class details so and this is what is the response from the system to the student student is updating his records the system is updating his records but in turn it is not giving any response in terms of uh, any print out any receipt or any bill so these events are just making the changes in the system 
so this is how the system responds now if we consider uh, internal events so internal events can be raised at some point say for example uh, month end and the paychecks are to be generated so these becomes the events triggered by the system at some point at some due to some condition so this is what is events exactly so whenever you think about events you need to think what changes the event is going to do in the database or is it going to carry out some processing in the system so if it is doing some if it, it triggers some processing then it becomes an event so this is how this will help you this thinking will help you differentiate between the events that are required for your system and events that are not required for the system so there are different types of events that we come across external events temporal events and state events now what these events are external events are the events that are triggered by some user that is some stakeholder outside the system so uh, student requesting for mark sheet student requesting for railway re railway concession student requesting for bona fide certificate so these are the events triggered outside the system and these events force the system to do some processing so these are the external events for example in the banking management banking uh, system customer withdraws an um, withdraws some amount customer deposits an amount customer takes loan customer pays an emi so these are all external events now what are the temporal events now temporal events are the events that occur at some specific point of time now what do we what do i mean by this now here <coughs> it means that the events are triggered at some specific time and these events do some processing at that specific time now for example uh, month end and and uh, at at the at the month at the end of every month that is 30th of every month pay paychecks should be generated for the employees at the at the uh, 30th of every month Uh, leave calculations for the uh, employee should be done and paycheck should be generated so at the uh, end of every day uh, in a shop it should generate a report about the inventory the system should generate a report about the inventory so here you can specify the time like um, by evening 8 o'clock every day uh, the inventory report should be generated by evening 8 o'clock every day Uh, total sales and purchases made on that day should be generated so this is a temporal event so we are uh, the temporal events are dependent on some time so such events are temporal events and the third uh, type of event is the state event now state events are the events that occur at some um, specific state within the system now what do i mean by this now in we take an example of inventory management system now inventory management system is basically maintaining the stock of the products that are being uh, sold by the uh, shop or any any mark any uh, uh, any market any shop any shop so different products sold in the shop so every product has some Uh, has uh, some stock limit so when the product should be ordered now for example uh, sugar is to be ordered when 50 kg is remaining or when the uh, sugar stock goes below 50 kg so at that time the sugar should be ordered now here we have a condition that whenever the sugar stock goes below 50 kg new sugar a uh, new stock has to be ordered so here we are dependent on the state so sugar stock going below 50 kg so this is the state where the event should be triggered and the ordering of fresh stock should be done so here the system may generate some uh, pop ups or some 
messages that will help the shopkeeper to keep the track of uh, the products that are out of stock so this is what we mean by state events so we we have three different events so events that are occurring outside the system event that are occurring at specific point in the system or specific time in the system so that are temporal events and events that are occurring at when system reaches certain state so uh, with so whenever there are changes in the system after doing some processing so and when the system reaches certain state so these become state events so these are different types of events that we come across in a system when we are thinking about events uh, in the system or the activities that are uh, done by the user in the system now deciding events becomes uh, difficult when uh, we are uh, doing a project in web uh, websites doing a project in websites so students those who are doing uh, websites are very much confused about the events how to search for the events so first you need to identify the stakeholders people who are dealing with the system or people who are going to deal with the system so identify the stakeholders then list down all the activities that people do in the system so whatever users or stakeholders that are going to use the system you note down the activities for those people one by one user wise and choose the appropriate activity as a event as i told you you need to distinguish between the manual part and the Uh, manual activity and the activity that will trigger some processing in the system so we need to choose the appropriate activity as the event and uh, how do you decide this and this uh, such events need some processing so this is how you can search for the event for your system and differentiate between the events manual events and the events that need processing now when we uh, talking about the web projects so many students who are doing web projects they are confused about the events so different types of events that they may occur as i told you events that trigger processing so that needs storage in the system that means whenever there is access to the database such events are to be considered as events for the system so for students doing web projects you need to list down all the activities of the users individually whatever the user is going to do with the your with your website whether he is clicking on the home page he is clicking on some other details uh, clicking on some link so note down all the activities then you analyze whether this particular activity is going to deal with the database or it is going to make some changes in the database so analyze analyze these things and decide which event is going to make changes in the database or going to access the database now uh, any user clicking on home page he doesn't access the database but if any user is clicking for some product information so he is accessing the database any user who is requesting for photo gallery he is accessing the database so because the information about the photo gallery comes from the database so analyze the activity what the user is going to do so depending on these activities you will decide the automated uh, the manual event and the automated event then you consider these as an event and you know, write it in the event table so this is what we need to think about events uh, when you consider an event for the system so mail me your feedback regarding this video so how did you find the video were your doubts cleared or you need any further uh, require or you have any further requirement in the topic so thank you